Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see us Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Mom C, and welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So, we are stuck on the second night because we have no idea what to do. But, I have been reviewing my previous footage and I think I know what to do now. And not die for once. Yeah. I'm gonna beat this night and I'm gonna do it like a boss. Just save power, that's like the number one thing I want to feel like. Uh, hello? Hello? Hi. Uh, see, I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. You're a natural. Nice. Uh, by now I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Uh, yeah. Uh, those are from the previous location, and we just use them for fun. Whoa, now. okay, that's good. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. Great. But they were just so ugly, you know? Yeah. And the smell. Uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction and make them super kid friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around, but if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too, so whatever. Uh, I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? No. Oh wait, Foxy. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, no. hey listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time, those older models would always get disoriented with bright light. Mm. It would okay. cause a system restart or something. Uh, come to think of it, you might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. It might hold him in place for a few seconds. Come on, do it. That glitch might have carried over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest. I never liked that puppet thing. Oh, well, that's always what's in there. thinking. Thinking. And it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the Freddy mask will fool it. Crap. So just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Why does he uh, have the music box in the first place? What? Is it hiding? Bonnie's out. Where is Bonnie? Bonnie's right there. You're fine. Hello. What? Wait, what was that? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hi. 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 Oh, crap. This is not good. They are being salty. my leg come on move yeah that's going to disorient you please move okay 3 a.m. not bad what I'm to my flashlight man why can I not aim my flashlight well God, 
what's going on with my flashlight? God, I am going insane right now. Phew. God. Oh God, this is not right. Let me put it down, please. Ready, don't kill me. Move away, please. Freddy's gone. Good. Hey, bunny. How you doing? Foxy, kill him. Back, demon, back. Seriously. Oh, come on! Come on, 6 a.m. God, that is rude. I was so close! Ugh. Well, this is not the end of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I don't think I can ever do this again. Well, I'm gonna try another time, but I am going to make this a cross episode. This is also gonna be the start of Five Nights at Freddy's 3. So, stay tuned for that! Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Momsy, and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Yes, this is the second part of the cross episode. I just hit my uh, mic again, and we're gonna get started. Frazbear's Fright, the horror attraction. Local music park, which is ready to scare your socks off. Three new attraction based on real unsolved mystery Friday Fazbear's Pizza, including actual relics from decades of pizza in this attraction. Okay. Sweet. Guess I do nothing. Hello? Um. I hear the phone. Hey, hey, I just came oh, back for cute. another night. Hey. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting <laughs> this time. This guy sounds a little more cheerful. Some great new relics over the weekend. Ooh. And we're out tracking down a new lead right now. Ooh. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. He's dabbing. Like, the attraction opens in like a week. <laughs> so we have to make sure mm. everything works and nothing catches on fire. What? Uh, when the place opens, people oh. will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you, cool. and past you, and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Yay! Uh, you'll be starring as... The security guard! Yay! So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or fakes <laughs> out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. Cool. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, nice. nice, and a foxy head, Ooh, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. Of course. And we found a desk fan, very old school, Ooh, metal cool. though. So watch the fingers. Uh, right. Uh, uh, right now, the place is basically just you know flashing lights and spooky props. I see. Uh, I we thought we'd have more by now. Except for uh, dangling lights. We wires. have something really cool by next week. So we may have to suit you up in a furry oh, suit they hired? and make you walk around saying, Boom. Who they hired to do the electrical work, <laughs> uh, me? But, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings 
says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or what? something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, mm -hmm. You can check the security cameras over to your right. Wait, what is that? Look at that blue button. Okay. Uh, you can toggle between the thing. hall cams and the vent cams. Mm. Uh, then over to your far you left, climb in the vent? Uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. Mm. You can use this to reboot Ooh. any systems that may go offline. What? <laughs> uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Oh. I wasn't joking about the fire. Oh, that's, wait, that's, what that's is, the real is that a tortilla? Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. Yep. And if you let that there ventilation go off wide, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that there air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try oh, to have something, something new for you tomorrow night. All right, wait, it's 4 a.m.? Jeez. <laughs> That's cool! It's really 4 a.m. and I'm on a roll. Okay, so... Now what? I see nothing, which is kind of, uh... Overwhelming. When you see nothing, you start to panic. Hello. Hello. Ooh, that's that's kind of creepy. Man, these drawings actually look really good. <coughs> that looks kind of weird. Now that's just stabbing. <sighs> well, this is quiet. A little too quiet. Well, that is cool. Oh! <laughs> well, that was easy. Is that all I do? For five nights? Ooh. Oh, hello. This is... This is cool. Okay, I'll follow you. Don't- don't walk into the table. What was that? I heard, like, thunder or something. It's raining. Yeah, there it is again. Yep, that's thunder. Alright, I'm following you. Error, 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 um... Whoa! Uh, purple guy! <laughs> Hello. Um... Second eye, let's do Alright. Alright, um... Okay. Hey man, Sweet. okay. I have some awesome news for you. Sweet. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Okay. Dude, these are like prehistoric. Hmm? I think they were like training tapes for like oh. other employees or something no. like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes us feel legit, man. But I have an even yeah. better surprise for you. What? You're not gonna believe this. What? We found one. A real one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you uh, some of this I great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. <laughs> uh, hello? Hello, hello? Oh, come uh, Welcome on. to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Yeah. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costume. Right now we have two What's special going on? designs to that is double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close Where attention while go? learning how to operate these suits as accidents slash well, injuries in the slash corner. death slash irreparable and grotesque <laughs> maiming can occur. First we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound ease. It's an easy and hands-free approach where making is sure it? the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. <laughs> Change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. There Turning is. the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts Hi. around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. 
Um, Please make sure that spring okay, locks are right. oh, tight to ensure the right animatronic right. devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile Ooh, tomorrow's session. the face of Freddy Fazbear. So I can make it to tomorrow's session. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Hi. And I just did that. God, there's so much static in this. Video error. Um. Hurry up. Right, he's right there. Hello. All I know for Markiplier is ah uh, crap. Where is he? Is he any of the vents? Is he none of the vents? God, there's so much static <laughs> in this. Audio error. Um. Come on. Okay, it's 3 a.m. Plenty of time. He's gone. I'm screwed. <laughs> get, it, get back into it, boy. Boy, I don't know it. I think it's just this only one, corner mark. That's some weird ambiance right there. Don't move, I am watching you. Hi. Stay there. <laughs> Whoa, I swear I just heard a vent sound. Ha! <laughs> gotcha! Crap! <laughs> uh -huh, you won't get it past my defenses, boy! <laughs> You ain't got no skills on me. I'm gonna watch him. <laughs> Get back into room now, <laughs> boy. That's right, you stay there. Now stay there. This is a lot easier than the second one, I gotta say. Man. This is great. Now just stay there until 6 a.m. You will do that. And he's gone. Ah, that's great. Oh, is that him right there? Thank God, where is he? Well, I swear I just all mangled. <laughs> Sweet, he's right there. Video error, video error, video error. Yes! 6 a.m. Yeah! Okay, what do I play it this time? Oh, this again? Okay. Plays Bonnie. I want to look around. Hmm. I guess there isn't a whole lot. <laughs> it's just a cryptid restaurant with nothing to see, I guess. In a tor in Atari. Ah, <sighs> the Atari. Look in, this is like a target. Oh, there's Freddy. Hi, I'm gonna be killed. Yup! I knew it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am gonna resume with their 9 and up another episode.
Hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys next episode. Alright, I am back, and the uh, chicken farm is done. Check it out here. Got a fence gate, don't know why. It's just seems appropriate. 